That was a good one. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to La Casa de Grisa. I want to welcome all you Ave fans. It's pretty cool of them to give me a shout out. Gentlemen, welcome back to the EOD, also known by my favorite greasy polyglot as uh, the Casa de Grisa. Well, that was quite an honor. Thanks, Ave. You rock. All right, today in the House of Puke, I'm going to be committing two offenses that I try to stay away from. First, I'm going to have to judge. Second, and way worse, I'm going to have to try and push a load out prematurely. <laughs> so this here is my 10,000 gallon processing tank. I heat up some water tubes in there to get the water and the oil to separate out and then skim the good oil off the top. Now this thing's full, so it's probably got a couple thousand gallons of water and muck on the bottom. A couple thousand gallons of good stuff on the top. And I'm normally not in a hurry, but I am this time because i got to move these tanks. Uh, tell you about that later, but uh, I'm gonna have to check the temperature see where we're at if it's anywhere around a hundred I might be able to pull this off now I know to some of you 10,000 gallons probably seems like an awful lot But for as many fat fucks are in the Chicagoland area All right, so we're up top. I don't know if you could see the level of oil there But all I do is shoot this with an infrared thermometer Oh fuck 88 <laughs> Ain't even close. This ain't happening. Not this week, anyway. Now this here's the sludge judge. All this is is a clear plastic tube with a little check valve in the bottom. You submerge this into a liquid and when you pull it back up, it closes that check valve and you get an accurate column of what the levels look like. Now the lighting in here is poor, but inside this tank is exactly what's going on in that big processing tank behind it. Here's nice dry oil on top, and there's a little layer where it kind of turns into a creamier color right there. That's the separation that we're looking for. Now normally I'll dip this in the oil and show you what it looks like, but I'm not putting this GoPro anywhere near this fucking thing. Now it's not very scientific, I know, but that emulsion layer or that creamier stuff starts right around 5,000. So I got about 5,500 gallons of good oil on the top I could skim off, but that's too close to call it a full semi-load. So I'm going to give it another couple of days and maybe uh, come back at this next week and try and ship it then. So once again, thanks to all you new subs. I'm going to try and keep it up, and thanks to Ave. Now here at La Casa de Grisa, if you cut your finger, you just wrap a piece of bacon around it. Once you're done for the day, you get all that sticky shit off, just put a little isopropyl alcohol on there, wash that down, cuts most of it, wipe your hand clean, then put a little Bolivian marching powder on there, if you can afford it, put that right in there and you're good to go. Ready for a wink. Thank you. 